It's finally over. Oh my god, I just beat wave 50. I wonder what the reward is. Oh, what, wave 51? What? I thought it only went to 50. Oh, it's just a ferryman? Oh, this is gonna be easy. Lightning Assault. Clones. Ball Piercer. Grand Javelin. All things I can deal with. Are you sure about that? This treasure I summon. Tooled armed. Monkey. Divergent. Spiral Divine. General. Move it on. Nah. I'd win. Do you want to know how to progress at light speed? Try the del 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 Diluvian. Try the machine. It comes with EXP, loot. That's kind of it. But it's good EXP and loot. Try the Diluvian machine now. So when Friday's update came out, I was hyped for the machine. Only problem, I didn't have a PV build. But when I saw the patch notes. Decided to speedrun making a build with the new machine. And, and by, by the way, guys, don't don't look at the splits. I kind of I kind of forgot to do them. So I went tearing so that I could glide to the area from Castle Light, and it saves a lot of time, especially when you wipe like eight different times. God, mother. Pro tip for the machine: you can just kind of stop at any time. Like if you're about to die or something, you can just shut off the machine. And it'll kill the mobs for you. It's a really helpful little life hack. And, uh, oh, you don't get the XP while you're, well, if you do it, but it's pretty good for staying alive. Anyways, for the first wave, it's a jellyfish and some of the new crabs. And I'm not gonna lie, I've wiped the most of this wave. If you're using a heavy weapon and you get unlucky with the RNG, the, the jellyfish can kind of just stun cycle you. But if you don't have a skill issue like I do, you can kind of just vent them and it, it resets everything back to neutral. I farm this with a buddy to like power 5. Next wave is Thresher. I don't know why, but for some reason, it kept spawning in the Corrupted Thresher. And like, I, I didn't do that after a while, I don't know. So maybe it's random or something. Anyways, this, this part is really easy, so I mean it shouldn't be that much trouble. Next is Golem, and he can be a little difficult because he's got high HP. So when he does that spinny thing, you got two options. You can parry it and hit him. Or you can run away. Or, or, if you went ice like I did, you can use Glacial Arc and cheese him by, like, running up it and then M1ing him. I recommend being, like, power 6 or 7 for this fight. Next, you got Corrupted Lionfish. And this one's kind of just like a skill check. If you can parry, block, and dodge a Lionfish, you kind of just win. And then you got Sharko. Uh, really easy, no problems with this one. And after this, you get a chest. After this, is where you start getting the good XP. I'll, it depends on your build, right? But I was like power, I was like level 11 when I started being able to beat it consistently. Um, and you gotta fight the corrupted mudskipper knights and angels. And it's kind of just like that for the rest of the 10 waves. If you can beat wave 6, the rest of the waves shouldn't be much trouble. Alright, that's it. The next wave after that is corrupted purple crabs and lionfish. And I wouldn't really recommend trying to fight them for levels. I just kind of stuck to angels and mudskippers till I hit power 19. Then I escaped and uncapped everything. And all in all, it took me around three-ish hours to get fully maxed out. So yeah, that's pretty fast, all things considered. Um, some notes: I didn't go Val of Thorns because it's bad. I mean, you get you can level up fast, but like you know, you gotta fight the the hard trial. I, I wasn't trying to do that. So, if you went Val Thorns, you could probably do it really quickly. And I think I did the the machine while it was bugged, and it wasn't giving as much XP. So, if you did this method, you could probably get, like, really... It could probably take around maybe, like, two hours to get to level 20 from zero. Subscribe.